Okay guys, we're here talking about 76 East Shore Road. Uh, we're gonna go over the floor plans, so take it away. So thank you very much, Danielle and Jim. So, sorry, James, apologies. Uh, we are checking out the proposed demo first, right? So this would be the first floor demolition. Mm -hmm. Right, so. so in red. Yeah, he's got this in red, so we're looking about this little step off the back through the kitchen. He's talking about demoing the whole kitchen. So this comes out, this wall, which we were sort of two ways about taking all the way down, but you might as well get permission for the full thing, I guess. Uh, and then this wall between the dining room. Because we can always decide to keep the wall. We can, all, we can always say, yeah, not so we're much. We're going to keep half of it and be like a breakfast bar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're thinking. That was the idea. So, right, and then this exists, these two existing bathrooms, yep. we're going to do some demo on. Yep. Um, and then this is have proposed have stairs. Two oh, upstairs, yeah. So that's demo just to make so it's gonna take this there. door out essentially and then the existing stairs which are super steep and yeah. just for storage. So. When I was there talking to him, he said he was gonna have to lose a little headroom in the stairs going down yeah. in order to facilitate those stairs going up. So the yeah. stairs going down in the basement, that, that ceiling is gonna come down. It's gonna feel a little lower now. Yeah. Okay, so uh, next plate. And this is, so this is the second floor demo plan. So it's got everything. He's adding the existing roof line mm -hmm. in red. So, so he's demoing. Is, he's talking about demo, demoing the existing roof line, right? Yep. And that's the stairs coming down. Yeah. Up, walls, right? roof, over the uh, living room, dining room. So I have a question. We were talking about at one point maybe um, making that bringing this into the envelope of the house, this back porch. Yes. And if we did that, why wouldn't we just extend this further and make this room on the second floor bigger? Well, that's the interesting question. It's a great question. That's a great question. You know, we kind of threw that in last minute, so yeah. it's possible. It's possible that it changes. It makes the roof line so complex. I don't know. We'll have to find uh, out. That's a good point. Meeting with him. Yeah. Um, it could. I mean, it could double the cost of the roof line just because of what we're doing. Does that make sense? Even you know what? Even if you if you finish this and made that part of the house. Even if you didn't bring this second floor out to that, you could make it a walkout deck for the primary. Right now, I think that deck has a higher roof line than the house. Okay. So in other words, do we want the family room to have, if the family room has a slightly sort of like mm -hmm. roof line, mm -hmm. then we're not going to be able to do that, right? Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's something, it's not it's a something to bring room, in. So yeah, I'm absolutely. almost inclined to say that we need to pop the ceiling a little bit there. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So this is, all right, so this is the build plan. So he's talking about uh, finishing this, closing this in, uh, expanding this. It's either, it looks like he's going to deck out and have or stairs patio. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, my inclination is patio, not deck. But okay. that's just me. You know how, like, when you don't have the biggest backyard, it's much better if your patio is the same same level, the same level sure. as the yard, so that if the kids are running around playing, there's no. So yes, my inclination is we're going to change that to a patio. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there may okay. be a really compelling argument for it, but we'll yes. see. We fought over this door. Do you remember we fought yes. over whether or not we? Because right now the only way to get into, you know, um, into here is there's a, a just a regular single door here, and this door right now goes outside. But you know, so I guess the idea is that we're keeping this door. Well, we were also talking about pulling this, making this opening bigger and having sliders or French doors or something. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this is, this. I mean, single door, single door. I don't know that there's a really compelling reason to have two doors out to the back. I don't know if well, let's this door is from direct the room, access. And this door is from the kitchen. Yeah, this so door is kitchen sense to the outside. Both doors. Both doors make sense to me. Yeah. This, if you had to go through the dining room to get to the family room to, to go outside, outside that's not, that's not, just feels weird. That's not good like flush. Like that at all. Okay. The only way I would like that is if, again, we made this bigger with the double door French doors, and this was uh, enclosed family room, envelope of the house, and then you make this like sliders out to the patio. Or just, or even, I still think there needs to be a kitchen. You need to have a yeah, door. Yeah, right, but that's, but that's okay. why this door still exists. Yeah. Like, okay. I'm not taking that door out. All right. So we talked about moving the dishwasher to this to the left side of the sink, remember? Because, uh, um, or or no no no, that that's where it is right now. I think we talked about right. moving the sink over and moving the dishwasher to the right instead. Put right? the dishwasher on the right and leave the stove here or here. Right now the stove is here. Right. 
I like to keep the stove where it is. Yeah, I think this wall feels because like I think it's weird to cook against. I don't love like my kitchen's like this right now. I don't love cooking against the back wall. Are we doing a stove and a wall oven or a stove? Oh, so a stove. No, a combination oh, stove. I think the, yeah. I think that's just so standard thirty six inch. We got rid of the wall for the wall oven anyway. So Actually, if you have, if you get rid of the wall for the wall oven, that frees up space for the refrigerator. Exactly. Yeah. I so see. again, another reason to keep this sort of wall here is so that you can get your full depth refrigerator in as well. So here's what ideally we want: stove here, 36 inches. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think the sink might move over a little bit. It's possible the sink. We talked about like six inches. It may or may not. Because there's a window. I think he's here. got it centered up on it's, the window. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On the window. Well, except for the fact that your dishwasher doesn't fit. Can you put the dishwasher okay. here? I don't know that you don't have the two foot here. Where's the dishwasher here. now? Exactly. Dishwasher's on the left side. So yeah. why are we moving anything? Because, the because you want more countertop for the stove and because well, the, existing, the existing is just a range top, so it didn't matter what was under it. If we're talking about putting a, a, a range oven instead of having a stove top and a wall oven, then that's going to eat up some of the space for the Especially dishwasher. If you want Especially if you put in the thirty six. Yeah. So, so the dish, so the, the dishwasher is just a little bit weird. So the question really becomes: I think the problem is that you can't move the sink, and the problem is, is on this side the dishwasher doesn't fit. You put it here. Yeah. So, so I think we just put it opposite. Yeah, it's right there. As long as you got that two foot, because remember you your dishwasher side. door, right? Your dishwasher door isn't going to be bigger than that, you know, like two foot anyway. So does this mean you guys want to keep the fridge here, or do you want to move the fridge over here? I still want to move the fridge over here. Fridge, breakfast bar, keep this wall sort of thing. We just make the the. You mean the half wall. Yeah, yeah, we make like the six foot opening here as okay. opposed to the whole thing. Okay. Uh, and then that frees up another, let's say, it's a regular 36. It gives us another 36 inches of cabinet. And we talked about side. maintaining this wall like this so that we can put bottoms. Right, yeah. So low cabinetry right. all here and then open shelving up here. Up here, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we like that idea. So we'll talk to James. About you that. Get All right. And then you get storage. So in terms of the bathroom over here, I want to look at this because didn't we talk about wanting to steal some bathroom space? Back? We we had talked about moving this shower into this closet in the hallway, mm -hmm. uh, which I guess is a thing, but it's not no. your master. It's not no, necessarily your moving. primary. I thought it was taking this whole thing. And turning it into a nice walk-in shower. Right. Right. We have so talked we about that. We lose this all the closet here, which I think is okay because, as Jim pointed out, you've got a nice size linen is. closet inside this bathroom. Right. Which, there. even if we wanted, if, if, if you didn't like it, we could just close this. Can't we just close this door off here and open the door here instead? You could. Yes. At this point in these drawings, yes, we can do that. You have this closet at the bottom of the stairs. The other thing you can do is. If you don't take the whole closet, let's say you just take it to this wall, right. mm -hmm. then you can turn this into hallway space and it's going to feel a lot more open. Yep, agreed. Or even open it door. It's not going to feel. Have an, an, a, you know, sort of a shallow closet. Yeah. Here. So right now, this is a shower. Yeah. So yeah, and we're it, talking about bring it to here. Yeah. And then, like you said, then demo this, and it opens the space up. It opens the space yeah. up, so it doesn't feel like you're going through a narrow doorway into a narrow stairwell into right. an upstairs. Right. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Okay. And, and you get a bigger shower in in you this. You get a bigger shower, you lose well, a little closet that you had anyway. I hate to say this, but I think that you know, I think this is a, a population base that really needs to master, really needs two primaries because. There's a really strong likelihood that you're there, but also your parents are there. That's just sort or of. Or your older teenage profile. daughter lives down there. Yeah. Yeah. Or right. it's your guest room. Or, you know, because it, it could be an place. office slash guest room. Or it's your office. Or yeah. also, if, you're, if you have really little kids and you want to stay on that floor right. for the first five years, you have a decent sized primary and a decent sized primary back before you move upstairs before you move to, up the, to the main primary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is, this plate is the proposed plan for the second floor, the one under, over the living room, the dining room, room kitchen. Floor. Yeah, right. right, forgive me. Or the, um, the one above the living room. So he's talking about a, so that's a 235 square foot uh, primary. new master, uh, new primary yeah. bedroom, forgive me. So yeah. 15 by 16, right? That's so huge. Yeah. 
It's it's it, it's big. So sixteen foot is essentially it's just shy of three king beds wide. Do you guys see what this is? This is where he thinks the two foot roof line, you know, before it does going up. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is that's where that roof pitch this happens. Sort of, yeah, it's going pitch right here. Yeah, the pitch change. Uh, he's got two really big walk-in closets in, which I think are a major feature that everyone loves. Yep. Uh, he's got a new uh, main bath, double vanity, uh, the can in its own little room, which I think is fantastic. Um, he's got another closet in here, unless that's a stand-up shower. Does he have tub and shower? I suspect it's he's tub, and, tub shower. and shower. Tub and shower. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry, closet. Wait a second. No, that's... Yeah. Okay. Definitely Make this the shower. I mean, do you really need yeah. a closet in here? I don't know. I would probably do a freestanding tub, a soaking tub. Right. You don't need a. a you don't want a regular tub in here. No, no. we don't want the soaking tub. Kitchen, no. kitchen, and bathroom. Almost bath rather, if you if they wanted to, put a wall here, right, so that you've got walk-in closet on this side. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? And so then you don't need the closet in here, and you can make it into a bigger. Bigger tub, bigger shower. Yeah, right? I mean, my point is with these two walk-in closets, you've got enough room for linens in here anyway. Mm -hmm. However, you lay it out, I don't yeah. really think you need this space. I'd get rid of that wall, put the soaking tub in there, do the in wall mounted plumbing, you know, with the cascade yeah. going over the side. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys a question. And here's the question The ideal question, once you have five bedrooms, the, for me, the most ideal is that the floor that your primary is on has two other bedrooms, just in general. It doesn't have to, because if you've got two small children, they can walk in the same seat. I can tell you at least one. No, one. No, no, I, I think know. one. I don't know about two. I don't yeah. think you need two. Because my response to this is, if that's the case, why don't we just make this damn closet bigger and make the bathroom, the whole thing bigger? Make the, make the closet smaller, make the bathroom bigger? No, no, no. In other words, one walk-in, because nobody needs two walk-ins. Like this isn't that kind of this house isn't three thirty five hundred square feet. I'm almost inclined to make this closet. Do you know what I mean? Like make the closet bigger. Just closet one closet and two bigger, would separate and make them all. More from the... big and your entrance to your bathroom here and okay. the closet here. Oh, Does that make sense? Well, what, where what would you make two smaller walk-ins? This is twenty six by thirty one. Uh, what's that? Yeah, 20, 26 by 31. You got it. 26 by 31. What's that? So these closets are 711, essentially 8 by, uh, they're 8 by 9. They're two 8 by 9 closets is what he's got here. Eight by nine. I've had bedrooms smaller than that. I mean, why wouldn't we just make the two closets smaller? Separate them, his and hers, and then make them better. So that's 800 square foot on top of what's the existing square footage? I think we're over 3,000 square feet. Oh, fudge, really? Yeah, we're okay. 235, uh, we're 235, 143. So that brings us to 378 plus. Now, this um, is 806, just the, just the 31 right, right. by 26. So that's 806. I'm saying, and then what? You got another 806, and then how much is this over here? Easily another 806. So, right. hold on a second. So, just check and see what I'm saying here. If this, imagine the black line yeah. here, is the end. entrance to closet here, right? So right. This whole thing just is entered all into one. here, yeah. and your bathroom goes like this, and the entrance to your bathroom is here. So, so is that, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, you have a huge, super luxurious walk in. I have to say, the two smaller walk-ins feel less exciting to me than one super walk-in versus one, and also one super primary bath. That's fair. That looks even bigger. I'm just saying, like, if that's the case, and we're not worried about any other space. But what square footage do you gain in the bathroom by doing that? This. You don't know, really. I, I, I mean, I, yeah. I'm going to disagree with you. I think. I'd rather have the two closets. I, Missed that, that so much in my own house when I had my own closet. And every time I house. show a house, this is how it goes. Yeah. Oh, this will be my closet. Uh -huh. Where are you going to put your stuff? No, it's always like, oh my god. This gosh, is where I'm going to. This is my closet. Where are you going to put your stuff? I think it's a factor, and we're we don't yeah. live like this, but I can imagine. Okay, so I did live it. like that, and I'm. Okay, but I'm going to ask a question. <laughs> if we walk mm -hmm. over into my son's closet right now, do you walk in and go, I sure wish I had a second one? 
Hold on. Pause that. Let's go for a walk. What, what, what's, we're, just, we're not talking, we're not about, talking about your son. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I know what you're saying. We all realize the argument. This is a decision that we're going to have to make in terms of is one better than two? two is I better. would tell you in most cases of anything, two is better. Two is but, better. Okay, I'm just saying. Like You don't really gain anything. I see. That's what I'm saying. So you don't gain if anything I make by smaller, making a super. Really? Because I, I don't feel like really that feel like is tight as fuck. Well, we're gonna get rid of this closet. Getting rid of this closet. It's, it's, it's gonna move it's it's gonna move because, the well, here's the thing. So that, the this is. I don't think this is a closet. Is I think it's designed to become a shower. Okay. Right. Then what's, I, oh, what's, so this the, line the shower door has to swing open. This line is for the can closet. Does anyone think that that tub feels small? Is it just uh, like, oh, no. 72, I mean, I mean, it's six foot by three foot. So no, not so much. Okay. It's not a two person job. We're going to put a soaking tub there. Yeah, we're going to put a soaking tub in here anyway, yeah. which means it's going to come so around. This, this space has to be here. This space has to be shower and we have to be able to Okay, the only reason why I'm saying this is that I do prefer when the tubs feel like oh, they're sorry. a little more okay. in the room. Okay. As okay. opposed okay. to jail in the corner for a second. As you want it to be like a like one short wall, like a one short wall. I wouldn't mean, mind it. Does that make sense? Like I wouldn't mind if the soaking tub were turned in a particular way so that it feels like. Because I don't like. For me, a soaking tub is a freestanding thing. It's going to be freestanding. It's not going to be smashed up against. Any, you know, it's going to have the curve. And this Here's is the also, other thing. This it's, is also negotiable. So this what is if like. We move the tub to this side and yeah. a double side. We can absolutely do that. If you move that tub to that side when you walk in, you have. It frees up the real estate. You see this the tub. beautiful top when you walk in. Yeah. And then you put the vanity, which will have to be a little smaller, on this side. Uh, I love the, the, the little. So I'm going to ask you a question. Like that. I'm going to ask you a question. So what happens if you walk into your bathroom, your shower's over here, right? Your shower's over here, and your tub is like this. I'm just saying. I'm not saying that's necessarily good, but I just, I just, I like them when they're kind of freestanding in space. But that's neither here nor there. I, honestly, I don't know why I care. I'm not going to live there. But. <laughs> and the other thing is it just has to look nice. Most people are never going to fucking use it anyway. It just has to look the nice. Oh my god, it's so true. You use it twice and you're like, I'm never going to use that. No, use it. Right. All right. My wife gets in a tub like three yeah. times a year. We have, Maybe. We have three just pretty just fancy great. tubs and we use them it twice. It looks good. All right. What, what else you got? Is that it? Uh, and that's, that's, that's We're selling houses. Right. We're selling houses, people. Uh, well, no, selling no, a dream. Well, we haven't talked about the, the extra bedroom up here. Yeah. In addition to the primary, it is just the right size. It but is. It's, it's eleven by three, three. eleven by twelve. Yeah. Or yeah. twelve by twelve on the side. That's not the closet. Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Good. That's a good size room, and you know, if you want to make that your nursery early on, or you've got small children early on, you can put them there, and then later this can become like a dressing room or whatever. And the kids can be on the other level. Or an office, office, office. To be an office. Podcasting studio. <laughs> or, or, or. It's a, we'll call it a flex space. Flex, flex space. space. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, you guys. We're good? We're good. So I think maybe we'll put together a list of what we want to do, and then we'll set up a time to talk to James. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Sweet. guys. Sounds good. All right. Later, guys. Woo!